Hey everyone, this is Jenny Garcia and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create some lettering using ice cream as inspiration and I always recommend to go really slow that's what I note here that I increase the speed of the video and as you know you have to put pressure when you're doing your downstrokes and go light when you're doing your upstrokes and for the base I use the 942 tan that is a tumble dual brush pen so I'm gonna be using tumble products for this whole piece and I use uh, 723 to create the melted ice cream and the ice cream scoop I also use the blender and a lighter pink to create uh, to make one of the parts in the ice cream a little bit lighter they blend pretty well so it was pretty easy and to put the dripping of the ice cream I'm just gonna choose the top of the word and you want to create like little drops like there is actual ice cream melting and it's really easy it does take um, a little time the whole piece I, it took me like 30 minutes to make and you can also use the fine tip of the tumble dual brush pens to do the these drippings but I like using the brush pen if you are interested in learning more text techniques with the tumble dual brush pens or for general lettering I recommend that you follow my class on big picture it's called lettering playground and it's beyond the basics it's just cool techniques and effects that you can apply to your lettering to make it look even cooler and since it takes a while I increase the speed to four times here since you pretty much get the gist of what I'm doing you you don't have to see the real time and the drippings can do random you know they're different size and widths and I put it in different places and you don't have to put it exactly on the word you can put it like it's falling off the letter or around it And I use the 723 pink for this melted ice cream effect. Now I'm gonna use the fine tip of the 992 sand dual brush pen and I'm just gonna draw uh, diagonal lines. I'm gonna go both sides to mimic the image of the the ice cream cone and you don't have to get to the border just stay inside the lines and it looks like the cookie waffle you can get in your favorite ice cream parlor and sometimes you need to wait a few minutes while your piece dries since, since these markers are really juicy like sometimes they stay wet a little while and they're also water based so it's okay if you do one layer then wait five minutes then do the other layer then wait a little bit more that way you don't put your hand on it and smear and this part is really easy if you want something really subtle you can use the base color but if you don't then I suggest just using one color above that one you don't want to pick something too dark because then it looks like way too much and now I'm gonna use the tumble twin tone dual tip markers I'm gonna use the fine tip to uh, draw the sprinkles and in the eye I'm gonna draw a cherry on top of the scoop you can't see it but it's just I'm making a circle and I'm leaving one little white dot in the center and with the green one I'm just gonna draw a little stem and 
and now with the fine tip I'm gonna uh, spread the sprinkles all over the board and I'm gonna be using different colors with it I'm gonna use red purple um, orange and blue and you can also use the fine tip of the tumble dual brush pen but maybe instead of a line you want to do just a dot since the tip is a little larger and these uh, ice cream melted ice cream spaces are a little bit small you don't want to draw something that is way too big then I used a white gel pen to draw a few accents and uh, you know details to these drippings in the melted ice cream and it's just really simple to do it looks like it's a lot of work but it's really not and if you want to make something even bigger then you can do like a double stroke which I mean is when you push down and you make a really thick down stroke you can do one just to the right that it touch the, touches the first one that way you double it and make it even bigger and uh, wider and bolder and this is how it looks that was really simple literally that was like five steps and on the tumble website you can find the written instructions if you feel like Maybe you need to read them. You're that kind of learner that prefers to read instead of watching the process. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's something really cute and it's really easy to make. It's also good if you want to make a piece for someone's birthday. You can write their name like this. And it would be a bonus if they have an I or a J. That way you can put a little scoop on top of one of the letters. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my class, A Big Picture Classes. You can join and uh, have, I believe, two a free two-week trial. So you may want to check that out. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.